What is up everybody, Gold Bear back here today with our final action figure of Bendy Jack Pacific Wave 2. This is Piper. Uh, interesting character to make for this wave. Um, I was kind of hoping that they would have saved this guy for like a 3 pack of the whole Butcher game. But I guess they just decided that, you know, let's just throw him in Wave 2 because, you know, he's kind of a cool character. And he is a cool character, in my opinion. And just looking at him from in the box, he looks amazing. And I'm like, oh yeah, I need this guy. He looks amazing and I want it now. So, I got him here. We're going to take a look at him. Uh, yeah, so front of the box... And again, this is the last figure of the wave that I'm going to be reviewing. If you guys watched the other uh, videos, I reviewed all the other uh, three figures, and this would be the fourth one of the wave. So I kind of kind of did in order, except I reviewed uh, Twisted Alice before Bendy, but that's okay. Anyways, let's take a look at the back of the box here. We have a picture of Piper. And then we have the, what I believe is called the Miracle Station. And we'll get to that when we open it up. But uh, yeah, and then it shows you some images again of the movement of the body and you know, everything. And then down there, we can see all four figures of Wave 2. You got Bendy, Twisted Alice, Sammy Lawrence, and obviously Piper. So yeah. This is way this is the last figure that I needed for the set, so let's get into him. So there is Piper out of the box, but before we take a look at him, let's take a look at his accessory. He comes with a a wrench. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. Yes, a wrench. And it's pretty detailed. It's got ink splattered all over it. It's the right color. So yeah, everything on it is spot on and it looks really cool. And I'm glad that we actually have our first tool accessory with these action figures. So pretty nice. So yeah, um, taking a look at Piper, one probably one of the most detailed figures I've seen so far in Jack Pacific, besides the Ink Demon and a few others, but this guy is amazing uh, let's take him off the base there so let's see posability wise he can turn his head a little bit like that his arms can turn around fully um, both sides his uh, elbow here can move too but he doesn't have a hand on the side. It's just kind of like bone or something. So yeah, kind of kind of odd. But you know, that's Piper for you. Um, this hand I think can move, but because my joints like so stiff or something, it doesn't want to. So it can kind of move like that. But that's the best I'm getting for it so far right now. But the elbow joint can move too. So that's cool nice detail on the like coat there like uh on like the whole suit there and the coat there it's spot on um legs can move around um he's kind of got like what sammy lawrence has the foot there it can it can go up and down but that's about it nice detail though though there um this leg I'm going to call this a, uh, a peg leg because I really don't know what else to call it, but I'm assuming that's what it is. Uh, but yeah, like that, because I'm pretty sure Piper is like a pirate or something, if I'm correct, but he looks straight out of the game, very detailed, uh, everything. And on the back here, that's what he looks like from the back. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the character is amazing. And I would recommend you guys getting these figures because they look really nice and they're very detailed. So, yeah, this hand obviously is the hand that holds the wrench here. Or the yeah, and you can kind of pose them in different ways. Let's see if we can put this on here. Um, so he is a bit taller than Bendy. 
And I do want to say, just look at the mouth detail there and the eyes and everything. He's got the X going through the one eye there and then it's just black on the other. And then I love what they did with his mouth here, how it's actually like, like open like that and not just like a printed design. I'm very glad that they did something like that because that was a missed opportunity for the Ink Demon when they came out with that figure. I feel like they should have did something like that with the Ink Demon. But you can see his tongue and his teeth. It's just amazing. So that's the figure. Let's get on to his background. And I'm sorry that I mispronounced that at first, but this is the Little Miracle Station. And uh, yeah basically this is like the first thing that you go to when uh, like this is the time when you first meet piper in the game and you run to the miracle station it's like the little miracle station it's like the first encounter with him so it's kind of cool that that's his background but it makes a lot of sense but there he is and again very nice detailed figure i like the gloss on the uh, jacket and everything or the suit I meant but yeah there he is very nice so that will wrap up the video guys I hope you guys enjoyed wave 2 of Bendy's Jack specific action figures I'm I, I enjoyed them I like these figures a lot and I I really I, I don't know who I would choose more Sammy Lawrence or the Ink Demon because they're both really good figures. I like Piper. I know Bendy's just a repaint, but he's still a pretty cool one. And Evil Alice, Twisted Alice, also a really good one. So I, I don't know which wave is better, wave one or wave two. I, I really don't know. But I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more content like this because I'm hoping to get more bendy stuff coming in for the future and you know even FNAF too because you know I I want to go back to toy collecting and stuff like that because I realized that vlogging is not going to really work out for me so yeah expect uh, stuff like this coming to you uh, more soon so anyways guys make sure to stay golden and I will see you all in the next video